Welcome back guys, look at this. It's a carbon fiber electric bike. Awesome. So this is the Ertopia carbon e-bike. It looks really nice, doesn't it? There's no battery in there at the moment, that's on charge, but you can sort of see the, see the thickness and the quality of the carbon. Looks really nice. It's also got a belt drive, which is um, something you don't usually see on these sort of bikes. So I suppose it's kind of what we know in the UK as like a hybrid bike or a gravel bike. Um, you know, it's great on the road. It's not really for off-road, obviously, but you know, gravel paths and tracks and stuff like that. Um, it hasn't got obviously racing handlebars, so it's not, you know, it's not a racer, but it's a 250 watt bike. Um, so the motor is actually in there. Now, this has got torque sensing, apparently, so we'll be testing that out. Um, so this is proper, not just your usual pedal assist where you start pedaling and the back wheel starts. This is supposed to have some pretty decent torque sensing. What's quite unique about this is it's got this kind of futuristic display, which I'll show you, it all kind of lights up. Um, you've got like a fingerprint sensor there for obviously starting it. Um, and you've got, you know, like a sort of um, pad of buttons on this side as well. It's got hydraulic brakes, so always nice to see. And, you know, generally the quality of it is, is actually really nice. Really nice. So this is the battery. It's a 10 amp hour, 36.5 volt. I don't usually say that. 395 watt hours, or 365, sorry. Um, and yeah, it fits in the frame. So this this is probably, this probably weighs about the same as the frame, actually. This looks quite nicely made as well. It's got quite a few contacts on the bottom. I don't know if that's for kind of, you know, current load sharing or whatever, or it might be some sort of communication between the bike and the battery. Um, but yeah, you can charge this on and off the bike, so you can take it off to carry it upstairs or, or just leave it on, and I think you can charge it through the side of the bike. Yeah, there's a charge port there. So we put the battery on, I've just realized there's loads of race cones from the, uh, from the RC cars. So that goes in pretty nicely, and then firmly connects there. So yeah, looks really smart. This is a prototype, I think this bike um, so yeah, there was a few scratches on the other side of it and all of that, but generally, but a really smart looking electric bike. So let's fire it up and I can show you how it works. I think it's this button to turn it on. Um, bottom one, there we go. So you can see, obviously it's got this kind of dot matrix thing. It's showing the battery is almost charged. The charger had cut off and gone green, so I don't know why there's a little gap there. But anyway, so you can see here, that's the speed. Um, and then I think you can literally just put different assist levels on here. So you get this kind of voice announcement. Comfort mode. Comfort mode. Sport mode. Sport mode. I don't know if there's some, maybe hold this. There you go. <laughs> so it's like a, a turbo mode. I think turbo mode is basically, you can just have your feet just going round and it'll give you Power. Obviously this is 250 watts. Um, I'm not sure if it's limited to 15 and a half mile an hour or what, but um, it is effectively meant to be a road legal bike. So let's take it out of turbo mode. So you can see it's obviously got some, you know, noises and, <laughs> and everything else, um, which, you know, might be a bag, might not. Um, there is an app that goes with this as well. I don't think they've released it yet, so I can't, you know, change any settings. So I'm just kind of playing around with the bike to see, but I think if you push, you've got indicators. Now, this one has come and it hasn't actually got any rear light cluster, but you can hear, obviously, <laughs> the indicators going off up there. Um, and I'm, well, I, from the pictures on the website, so this is an Indiegogo campaign, so you know, they're obviously, I'm gonna turn that off, that is getting a bit annoying. All right. Yeah, so there's, there is a light here, which I think is kind of just comes out here. You can see it on the website anyway. Um, put the link in the description. And um, it basically has indicators and brakes. And I think it's also got like a sensing uh, radar, sort of LIDAR type thing. So it will, a bit like your car reversing alarm, it will, you know, sense when cars are coming up, which is quite a useful feature. I've got this on a Garmin GPS and it's really, really good. So when you turn it off, you sort of hold the left hand button there and then it, locks <laughs> like a phone um and then you know this isn't actually finalized yet this this uh fingerprint sensor but you get an idea from so that's saying obviously you know i haven't got a fingerprint recognized or it doesn't recognize the fingerprint and then if you try and move the bike or do anything to it it starts sounding like you've walked out of a shop carrying a load of stuff you haven't paid for <laughs> 
Right, I've got some warm gear on and a GoPro. Let's take it for a spin. Right, one thing I've noticed is you have actually got to have it on, otherwise it starts bleeping at you. So down the stairs, I mean, it's great having a bike that's light, for sure. And that is light. Awesome. Right, here we go then. So, it's cold today. Uh, the thing about this bike, they say it's got no resistance. So by that, I mean, it hasn't got any resistance on the motor. Sometimes motors, electric motors do have, or hub motors at least, have a resistance. So, you know, you're pedaling against that. But I tell you what, this feels like I remember a normal bike to feel. Actually, I'm in pedal assist one, so that might be something to do with it. So we're now in, right, we're supposed to be in pedal mode, but I can definitely feel a motor. I can definitely feel some motor action going on there. Right, this is supposed to be pedal mode. Right, let's try. Yeah, that's still giving me some assistance. So maybe the uh, maybe the software isn't quite set up right yet. Yeah. I can definitely feel a little bit of power there, um, and it's it's very smooth. It's actually it's totally dependent on how hard I'm pressing. So if I really press on the cranks, I can feel, yeah I can feel it sort of like pick up. So it's definitely got torque sensing, um, which is implemented pretty nicely by the looks of things. Um, so don't know if that speedo is quite right or if this is in kilometers an hour. It's no way of knowing really. Um, because I don't think that's quite, I mean, it might be 20 mile an hour, it might be. Um, so, let's just get across, get across the road. Yeah, no, there's no way that's 26 mile an hour. But um, as must be in kilometers. But this is a single gear, so there's no, you know, my, my feet can't, could go around a little bit more um, faster than that. But yeah, so you wouldn't really want to be pedaling that. So this is eco mode. And and manoeuvrable. The feeling of a light bike, there's nothing quite like it actually. You know, it actually feels so nimble, <laughs> but also pretty locked in. This frame's probably a little bit small for me, to be honest, but it's fine actually. I do like my frames a little bit smaller anyway, so that's one thing. So, you know, in pedal, in pedal assist mode one, you probably could you probably could actually get a bit of exercise in. These are cycle paths, by the way, guys, so I'm not riding on the pavement. Little bit of power to get out of trouble if you need to. So I'm still only assist level one at the moment. So let's crank it up as we go across this roundabout. So, not noticing a huge amount of difference between those Assist levels. Legs are going around quite fast. Right. Stick it into. Ah, uh, oh, damn it! There's a load of glass down there. The last thing I want is a puncture, and these tyres do not look like they would forgive much. It is cold today. Right, we're in turbo mode now. So, hasn't really done anything to the top speed, but perhaps. Yeah, I saw, sort of like, I'm not putting a lot of power on and it's not putting a lot of force down on the cranks and it's actually, it's actually sort of maintaining its speed. I think they've got some work to do on the, uh, on the pedal assist modes. But, it's a good start. Actually, it feels like it's in sort of some kind of cruise mode at the moment, because I'm not, I'm not pedaling, and it's just sort of rolling. I don't know if that's because I'm going downhill or, or what, but it feels like it's got a bit of power under it, if you know what I mean. All right, 
All right, let's get to the um, the gravel bit. All right, brakes work. I should have tested that really before before anything else. All right, power down. Yeah, nice. That's weird. It sort of hits. I like the power just sort of kind of cut out then. Don't know. Right, <clears throat> let's get on the tape off. So I'm actually in zero. <laughs> in zero mode. Now put it back to eco. Can't get away with a lot with uh, these thin, thin wheels, but that's all cool. Right, so I'm feeling like it. it's definitely limited, so maybe 15 and a half, maybe maybe somewhere around there. I don't know what, again, this speedo is not correct, but so let's put it into uh, the next mode and see, does it actually, uh, it's, still, it's still limiting. Let's put it in turbo mode. Put it out of turbo mode, in turbo mode. No, that's done the indicators. So yeah, it's nice, really nice to ride. As I say, it's light, obviously, um, being carbon. It um, absolutely hoons along, really. Um, you can really notice the power because the thing's so light. So power to weight ratio is great, um, which makes a lot of difference if you're riding something that's, you know, got a fairly low power figures. I like it, I really like it. It's getting there. Um, so we can sort of rattle along, nice and smooth on the, um, nice and smooth on the pedals, the drivetrain's really nice. Putting a little bit of work in, maybe I'm probably hovering around that top speed. So like as it gets towards that top speed, it tails off a bit and then I'm putting a bit in. But it's so smooth, the way they've set the the sort of uh, throttle up on the you know they're just getting so much better now at doing that uh you know throttle response um you know you sort of talk set your pedal assist sense what am i trying to say guys um pedal assist is very smooth it's not even noticeable it kind of just creeps in but you, you'd get places on this bike you'd absolutely 100 percent get places on here and going uphill wouldn't be an issue i don't think we'll try it we'll try some hills if I can find any in a minute. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're cruising, guys. We're cruising. Love it. It reminds me. It's what a bike should be, really. It's what a lightweight electric bike should be. Thanks, guys. Hi. Okay, thanks so much. Cheers. So he speeds up. <laughs> Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> Should have taken it out of turbo, thanks. Should have taken it out of turbo mode. Lovely. Right, let's do a little standstill testing. Yeah, it gets going. It gets going actually quicker than, um, than that 750 watt bike, <laughs> funnily enough. Um, you know, under throttle only. If I pedaled it, probably would, but yeah. It's um, it's got a nice amount of power. Feels good. Now, battery gauge has dropped a little bit. Um, I don't think that's anything to be concerned about because I think that is calibration. That must be calibration. Um, you know, when you're riding bikes, and you're putting power on, the voltage of the battery will drop and it will drop under load. So effectively, if you haven't got an algorithm that can, you know, correctly sense the, thank you, that correct can correctly sense the, the voltage and basically not, not drop too quick. You know, you don't want a battery gauge that drops as soon as it sees the battery voltage drop because the battery voltage will drop a little bit and then it will, it will rise back up when you come off, off the throttle. So. Um, something to bear in mind, um, but I've been asked to feed back all this information to this uh, this company anyway, so you know we should be able to 
we should be able to help them out a little bit. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling my back's going to be pretty muddy. There's no mud guards on this thing. Brake levers are the, the wrong way around for me as well. So it's nice to have something. Oh, see, this is quite a steep hill. Oh. Right, something, something creaked then. Looks like the adhesive around the outside of the screen. Again, it's a prototype, guys. It is a prototype. Don't want to be hanging off these bars. Right, there we go. Very nice. I'd happily grab this to just, you know, do a, do a little errand on. Because it's light, it's not too big. Um, and, you know, if the battery did die, you would be able to just pedal it. <laughs> um, you know, but it's just a good little vehicle. Uh, you know, tyres obviously a bit thin. That's what it is. That's the nature of the design. But, you know, because it's meant to be this sort of bike. So you'd want to make sure you can do some sort of, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if these would support tubeless or, or whether they are even, I don't know. But um, yeah, you'd want to put some, take some measures to not get a puncher because these sort of tyres will puncture pretty easy. In fact, if I get stuck out now, I'm not going to be too happy because <laughs> it is pretty cold. Where I'm going to end up, it'll probably be a, it's probably a bike shop anyway, so could help me out nips about definitely nips along they could do with de-restricting this completely <laughs> i feel like it'd just carry on going if it didn't have a restriction on it i mean you wouldn't be able to pedal much faster so i'm putting in a bit of effort here you can literally just have your feet just going around and it will give you that power a little bit of power right, let's get back on the cycle paths I'm doing a bit of exercise today yeah so if I've had enough I've had enough doing that and I can just have my legs going around it'll just cruise along nicely oh when I stop pedaling you can really feel that power sort of cut and come back on there it's an absolute joy to ride this thing battery's falling to halfway but it's not going any further than that probably will now I've said that so that's why I reckon it's going to happen it's going to it's going to drop to halfway and then probably sit at halfway for quite a while Still cruising nicely. I like the look of the saddle, but I'm not going to lie, it's, uh, it's making my bum ache. <laughs> Oh, I just wish it wouldn't just cut out at 15 and a half mile an hour. So that turbo mode is actually good because it's it's like having a throttle, but obviously you're not allowed to have a throttle for some stupid reason. But um, I mean, a lot of the th pedal assist are dangerous. They're more dangerous than a throttle would ever be because I've heard a lot of stories about people, you know, just pedaling slightly and then the bike just takes off. Now, you know, obviously you're not allowed to have a throttle, but throttles are way more safer because you've got complete control over the bike. You know, if you accidentally kind of just, your legs go round and the bike goes shooting off and goes into a pram with a baby, how is that safe? So, you know, they either need to regulate, sort out the issue with the throttle um, pedal assist so that they're actually reliable and actually have a system that you know bikes have to be certified by which is not going to happen um, or just allow a blooming throttle it's just so crazy to me anyway anyway digress it's actually really good this because it acts like a throttle 
So you can just have your legs going round or just move your legs slightly and the throttle will kick in. Now that could be dangerous if you don't take turbo mode off, obviously. Um, but, you know, for this purpose of this, if you're just cruising along, it's absolutely lovely because you don't have to pedal. You just, you know, make sure your legs go around a little bit and you, you've basically got full power. Um, really cool. That's super handy. The last thing I want to do after riding is carry a really heavy bike up here. Right, I'm back. So rather than give you like a glitzy review with all the nice shots and all that sort of stuff, which I do actually plan to do with this bike at some point, um, I just wanted to get down to exactly my thoughts. So I can't even remember most of the stuff I've said off the top of my head um, whilst I was riding. But um, to summarise, I like it. I think it's a good bike. It's, it's nice to ride something that's really light. That's, that's the first thing. There's a lot of little niggles well not i wouldn't say too many it's probably under 10 things that need sorting out um on this but i'm sure the guys will do it they seem pretty responsive uh to the to everything that i've been saying so far so yeah i think it's i think it's cool so guys if you're interested in one of these there's an indiegogo campaign running at the moment um i believe they're talking about shipping in february so this might actually be you know a lot sooner than we think um but yeah I would like to see the app. I'd really like to see how the app works and everything else. Um, but yeah, generally, it's really cool. You know, I'd like to see the app because obviously you'd be able to get into some of the settings, um, changing it from kilometers or whatever it's in <laughs> to miles an hour. That would be the first thing I'd do. Um, and then, yeah, see, what, see if there's any sort of customization options um, on there. But anyway, guys, this is the Ertopia. I've been Andy Kirby and I'll catch you in the next one.